All right, guys, we're talking exhaust back pressure sensor for your 7.3 Power Strokes. Now, this is a Super Duty, but a lot of this will pertain to the OBS trucks, and we're going to dive into it. So right there on the exhaust manifold on the passenger side, you will see the nipple for your exhaust back pressure tube that goes up to the sensor, which is right above your water pump on the front of the motor. It's right near the access cover for your HVO pump. It actually sits on that with two little bolts that hold it in place. Now this truck had no check engine lights, but it did have a little bit of an extra rattle to it. It had cold start issues, and it also had a really laggy turbo. It just wouldn't come into boost very quick, and seemed underpowered. Data Law did it was only making about 14 pounds of boost, and of course it was making like one to two psi of exhaust back pressure at wide open throttle. That was because the tube had cracked in half and was just basically dangling there. But long before the tube cracked in half, if you could see that, it had become completely clogged either way. We cut that open. This isn't where it broke. This is just a cutaway because we knew it was completely obstructed. And you could see nothing was getting through there. So this truck's been running like that for a long time. Guys, your exhaust back pressure sensor is one of the sensors that is going to give the ECU a lot of the data it needs for drivability. It is very, very important that you make sure it's working properly. This truck, like I said, it didn't have a check engine light, but obviously the sensor was getting almost no pressure whatsoever. Now, for you guys that do want to know, the sensor, and I'm going to climb up here to show you, is right here. This is your exhaust back pressure sensor. Normally that tube is attached to the bottom of it. The tube is coming in tomorrow from Ford. It was 60 bucks. So it's pretty easy to get to. You will need a big socket. So when you undo the plug on it, a 25 millimeter on the top, once you get the sensor out, you can see the two bolts, one here, one on the other side for the HPO access cover. And it's pretty straightforward. Be aware that that plate uses RTV. Also, it's really easy to bend. And a lot of times, you will damage the end of the sensor from rust. This one's in really good shape, so I was able to get it out. But I have seen them crack at the bottom. I've also seen them just strip all the threads coming out because of the heat and rust and age of these trucks. This one's in really good shape, so not an issue, but definitely something to be aware of. There's a couple companies that make kits online. I know RD2 Performance. They sell a complete kit that actually has a new cover plate for your HPO, which I like but it also does not incorporate the adapter for the sensor to the line on it. Basically, the, the hook for that is its own. So if you do have to remove your exhaust back pressure sensor or the tube, you no longer have to take off your high pressure oil access panel there for your HPO pump, which is nice because that's RTV'd on and every time you break it loose, you gotta clean it. It's kind of a pain. I'm not aware of any gaskets for it, they came from the factory rtv on, so just be aware of that. Like I said, that little sucker right there can cause a lot of issues. So just be aware of it. Be aware of what it does. If yours isn't hooked up or if that tube is clogged, it's probably time to replace it. The easiest way to tell is just by data logging it. If you're not seeing any exhaust back pressure, especially while you're driving the truck, a wide open throttle, then your tube is clogged or broken, one of the two. Now the tube was still there, it was present, but definitely not reading anything. Hope this helps you guys out, be safe, till next time all the way.